Hello and welcome everyone, I'm James Rose and this is EU4. So this is my first time properly live streaming on YouTube, so I'm not entirely sure how the quality is going to go on this, but if anyone watching live can tell me how it is for them, more the audio quality than the video quality because there's not much I can do about video. Um, but if anyone can tell me how it sounds, if the music and myself are at the right volumes to each other. I, I sometimes wondered if my videos on YouTube were a bit quiet. But hey, it's more the, more the volume between me and the music is what's important. But anyway, this is going to be my Papal States Let's Play. Not Let's Play, playthrough. Playing Papal Estates in EU4. Since they announced the change to uh, converting in the 1.26 patch, I wanted to do this game. Plus, they also buffed vassals. So, I want to go for the Holy Trinity achievement, where you turn into a march, the Teutonic Order, the Livonian Order, and the Knights down here. I would also like, after getting that, to turn the Knights into Jerusalem, if I can. Ah oh, no, I messed up already. I forgot to turn the game on. No, oh, I was showing the uh, the start screen the whole time. Ah, oh, oh well, fixed it now. <laughs> uh, this is why this is a practice. So that should now be showing the correct screen, but there's delay to make sure the video quality is not too bad. So I can't actually see that myself yet. Hopefully that'll pop up in a second on my screen. So, yes. Going to be trying to get a march of the Knights, the Livonian Order, and the Teutonic Order. And then, obviously, we will be crusading throughout the known world to turn as much of this as we possibly can into the one true faith, Catholic. I'm not doing some weird flurry strat where I turn it all Sunni. No, we're going to be following the Pope's correct religion and staying as Catholic. Also, hopefully crushing any reformation that may pop up halfway through the game. So, without going into any more, let's jump in. Iron Man playing on normal. So, I don't play on very hard. It's I think it just adds more troops for the enemy, which is... So, it's just like... You just like playing a smaller nation for longer, is all it really is. Crusading boys. That'll do. Spoke. Oh, no, miss, miss the G on Crusading. There we go. So I decided, I've done some live streams before, but they've always been on Twitch before. And then I've had to download them off Twitch, cut them up, if I've decided to cut them up, and then put them onto YouTube. If I've wanted them on YouTube. Normally they end up on YouTube. But I thought this time, why not just stream directly onto YouTube? I only have like 20 followers on Twitch anyway. And have to put up a video on YouTube saying I'm streaming on Twitch to get really anyone watching. I have like 400 subscribers on YouTube. And four of you are here right now. I would assume you're subscribers. And four is... That's alright. One in a hundred people is here live at this moment. I'll accept that. Here we are. Okay. We have our troops. The Papal Army. I'm going to need to rename them at some point. In fact, let's just let's just start right now. They're the, they're the Holy Legion. Because I can say that as opposed to whatever they were called before. You're the Holy Legion. And unfortunately, we can't Battle Pope. We can... Battle Pope is... Is now a thing? I know it was a thing. I think they might have took it away for a bit. But by going to the final reform in... Theology, you can now get Battle Pope. That is officially a feature in the game. So we will be doing that later on. For now, we don't start with a general. I've never looked at the paper. I've never played the Papal State properly before, so I don't know exactly how this is going to go. I've done a little bit of research. Like I know if we buddy up to Austria here, who doesn't want to ally us? Uh, if we buddy up to him, we can join the HRE, which will allow us to go after the Italian miners to start with. What I would like to do, if I can, is fight Aragon, actually, so that I can get some of these islands to get claims down in Africa. So we can start going after the heretics, not heretics, the heathens, early on. 
Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's start by going through everything. Our ideas. We get plus one dip prep. Good. Plus 25% religious unity. Also good if we're going to be converting people. Tolerance of true faith. Plus two. That's good. Max <laughs> National tax. Plus 20%. is huge. Prestige. Cost to fabricate claims. Minus 25%. That's quite nice. Uh, production efficiency, 10%. Prestige K, minus 1%. And aggressive expansion, minus 10%. Finishing with 5% discipline. Overall, a very nice idea set, I would say. What else are we sitting on? We're sitting on three ducats a month. Are we at force limit? We are not at force limit. Probably don't want three advisors then, because they would take up most of our money. Um, what we will... Okay, the Pope sucks. He'll probably die soon. Most Popes don't live very long. But in the meantime, we may want an admin and dip advisor just for those monarch points. Because they're the ones we're most short in. What I will do, I will take the dip rep guy. Because I want to try and get that alliance with Austria if I can. We're only three away. So I'm going to start improving relations with him straight away. Because I know I want that alliance. What else can we look at? The Pope sucks. He's a free thinker and he's construction cost. Before we end up doing either of these, he's probably going to die, so that's not too important. We have Blasphemy Act already taken. Religious strength up. Tolerance of heretics minus one. Okay, diplomacy. Hungary doesn't like us. Burgundy doesn't like us. And Provence doesn't like us. Provence, we could certainly go after taking these two bits of land, so I will rival him back. Who? Okay, I want to be friendly with you. You don't like Savoy and France. We could go after Savoy later, but I'm not too keen on annoying either of them right now. Aragon, I would like to annoy. And we can then probably buddy up with Castile, who normally ends up allied to the Pope. Or at least in a lot of my games, I seem to have seen him allied to the Pope. So I'm also going to start improving relations with Castile, because that's another ally I would like to get. Then uh, Aragon, I don't like you. Boom. And who else could we go after? I would also like to maybe go after Venice. We can't actually rival them, though, which is a bit odd. I would have thought we're about the right strength to rival Venice. We can claim all of his territory, and he has some really nice territory that's not in the HRE, so we could go after him straight away, especially if we could call Austria in, who usually wants his territory. Doesn't right now, but he doesn't seem to want anything right now. So we could. I would like to call Austria in on a promise of land against Venice if possible. In fact, you, dislike, you don't actually dislike Venice. That is, normally he does. Who does dislike Venice? Hungary, England, Aragon. That's not helpful. Maybe I could just ally Venice. He might help me against Aragon. Who else doesn't like Aragon? Because I say I'd like to go after them because then we can get into Africa, which is where we can start crusading properly. They don't like Castile, Venice, Tunis, and my... Oh, sorry. I am... Um, yeah, of course. Uh, do... do, do. Honestly, not sure that maybe we just stick down someone here. Maybe we just say I don't like uh, Ferrara, for example, and then eat them once we're in the HRE. I think that wouldn't be an awful idea. And then once they're gone, we can start looking at. Uh, well, we can look at another rival after that. Money, money. We're doing all right on money. Uh, that's gone down since I looked at it. But we don't need to pay our men, so that's a bit more money. Do we have any forts? We have a fort in the capital. That's not too important. Let's turn that off. Oh, we have two forts. Oh, yeah, there's one in um, Avignon. 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 One up here as well. That's going to get off. We don't need that. Then, okay. Now we're making decent money. We will also need to recruit some more men in a second. Missions. Any special missions? We can integrate you and then reclaiming Ferrara. I mean, will that give me claims? That does feel stay Oh yeah, permanent claim on a particular area. That area is probably this one. It is. So that give me permanent claims on them. I'll probably eat them before that though, if I can. Age of dis. It's not age of discovery. Not age of reformation. Okay, so that has to wait till um the age of absolutism. 
So that's the only thing. I have to wait till the age of ab absolutism and be Catholic. Oh, I have to make sure all of Italy is Catholic. Okay. And that gives me 15 years of some nice little things. Nothing really special, though. Okay, so we need to grab some allies. Provence. Who doesn't like you? Teutonic Order doesn't like Provence. That would be weird if we could have allied them straight away. Um, let's see. There's also the Knights. We need the Knights, the Teutonic Order, and the Livonian Order. We either need them to get killed, and then we can get some of their cores and release them. Or we need to kill them ourselves. In which case, getting to the Knights won't be difficult. We can probably fight Venice, and the Knights is nearly always... Pro yeah, they're, in, they're protected by Venice right now. They'll probably join the Trade, trade League. We can attack Venice, that'll call the Knights in, and then we can vassalize the Knights. The Teutonic Order and the Livonian Order, though, will be much more difficult. Because these two are nowhere near us. We need to get all the way through Europe to get at them. What we can possibly do is if we join the HRE, we can grab some minor nations as vassals or just take their territory outright. That'll get us halfway through Germany. Or we could possibly go through Hungary. Who doesn't like you? Poland, Bohemia, Venice. <laughs> Nobody wants to ally me. I'm not liking this. Let's have a proper look at diplomacy here. Offer alliance. Okay, let's have a look. Who can we actually... We can get an alliance with France. France, are you and Castile... No, you're not at each other's throats. There we go. Okay, we're protected now. We have an alliance with France. So nobody's going to do us any harm. We've basically just cheated our way to victory in the game. Uh, let's see. Declare the kingdom of God. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be awful. Because by the time you can, do, you can do this, you own most of this territory you get claims on. I mean, the bonuses you get are kind of nice. But it also turns off the papacy mechanic. Which means, oh, I can't actually get the bonuses as the Pope. That's interesting. I can excommunicate and call for crusade, but I can't get these bonuses, which is very interesting. I would have thought the Pope still had access to them. But no. Um, you hate me, so I can actually instantly excommunicate you and then send my troops up here. Uh, we will need to get into the HRE first. I maybe should have waited. <laughs> I was maybe a bit premature in doing that. But what is... Where are the... I can't remember where the things for HRE stuff is. Do I just need him to invite me into it? I'm sure I'm supposed to be able to get into the HRE by being friendly with Austria. Oh no, I know. I need to add my capital, don't I? But in order to do that, uh, Austrian relations need to be 146. There we go. Okay, so even if I can't get an alliance with him, I can probably push my relations high enough that I can get into the HRE. That's good to know then. Then we're look okay, we're allied France. We're looking at alliance with, with Castile and Austria. Once they're done, that will leave us actually that won't leave us with any diplomatic relations slots. So we will not bother trying to get any more allies now. We'll just keep working on them. Need to build up to force limit. We currently have two cav. Two cav is fine for now. We will just build four infantry. Naval, how good is our trade? We're currently collecting in, yeah, collecting in Venice and collecting in Genoa. We have our other merchant pushing from where? Pushing from Alexandria up to Genoa. Don't know how, uh, yeah, we'll probably want to collect from both of these, especially if we take control of Italy. That will give us strong trade power in both. But I mainly want to, I can't build any boats right now. Well, I can build boats. I would mainly want just galleys for now to make sure I can win any wars at sea. Because being able to control the Mediterranean during fights can be quite useful. Uh, Urbino, you we just need to make happy and then get rid of as soon as we can. Because you're not much use. So, uh, two days we can go and improve relations with them. And then lastly, we have estates. Estates, estates. What are we going to do with all of you? Going to do that to make them happy. We can get our mill points. 
you guys do that. We can get our admin points. You guys, you guys are a bit harder. Do we have? We don't have any important trade areas. Rome itself can be important, but right now we they already actually have some territory. Oh, what about what about you? Clergy and that. Okay. So let's do that and then do that. And then we can get dip points off of them. And now we've got 150 extra points off each of those. That's a nice little start. We also now have an admiral. Is he any good? Eh, he's alright. 413. I'll be honest, I'm not as familiar with how good um, admiral pips are in comparison to uh, general pips. I think... Shock is better for galleys and fire is better for heavies. I think it's kind of how it works out, but I could be lying. For now, let's unpause. Stick it on speed three. Wait for this diplomat to get back. Come on. There we go. France is now our ally, which means we're safe from pretty much everyone. Then to improve relations to this guy, get them nice and high so that when we can, we can annex him. How much money are we making? We're making a nice bit of money. We might want to grab some more guys. Yearly prestige. Our prestige is already ticking up because we're the Pope. And being the Pope, you're pretty much always at 100 prestige. That's another reason I'm wanting to do this campaign with the buff to vassals you can keep them loyal by feeding them prestige and with the pope you're never short on prestige so we should be able to use that to help keep multiple vassals loyal um so yeah i want to take ferrara ferrara is going to be a lot of aggressive expansion this guy gives prestige that'll be less aggressive expansion these guys i'm not too concerned really about mill points right now but seeing as we do have the money i'm gonna take this guy we can always fire him later if we need to but even with all of them we're still making nearly two ducats a month which isn't bad for a relatively small nation early in the game now why is your opinion of me just dropped allied to rival god damn it Who did you ally? Oh, is it because Hung he allied Hungary and Hungary doesn't like me? Is that the issue? I think that's probably the issue. Okay, so I can't set I can't set friendly in here. But I'll be automatically friendly if I don't set anything. Sure. Okay. That works well. And you what about Castile over here? You don't want to ally me either. Have you gone... You haven't gone hostile with France. You want his territory? Does he want yours? No. Maybe allying Castile wouldn't be necessary. Who else doesn't like Aragon? So we can maybe get Venice... In if Actually, if Venice gets involved... Uh, hostile attitude, but we can probably fix that. If we improve relations with them, that will go away. And then we can... Probably ally them actually. If we ally Venice, then we can probably take some of Naples or and or Aragon's islands because he won't be able to get his main forces over here. So for now, seeing as Castile isn't looking like they're going to want to ally me, I will remove him and we will instead improve relations with Venice. It's going to work on improving relations with Austria still because we need him to like us so that we can get into the HRE. Um, improving with you right now isn't strictly necessary. So I'm actually going to pull back from him and instead I'm going to get some claims on Provence. He's currently allied to France but hopefully that will go away. France usually gets into some wars early on, and if he starts struggling at all, he'll probably leave Provence to the dust. Or oh, for the wolves. We're us being the wolves. Pope wolves. Now, I do need to keep an eye on the time, because this will only be a short stream, because I need to stop at 7 to go and cook tea. 
But once I've eaten that, I will probably stream a bit more. So, I've pre-recorded plenty of episodes of my Moogle series. Um, yeah, that's fine. However, I'm going to want some of your money. So, thanks for that. And here's it back. There we go. Uh, I've pre-recorded pre plenty of Moogles. So, it's not like I'm replacing that with this or anything. These, I'd like to do this as live streams. Um, Moogles as my just video series. Dr. Ball Summit, done. Easy mission. Now, I can see that streaming is a bit of a tax on the get oh, on my laptop it is struggling a little bit just on speed 3 which isn't good of course uh, do you know who don't you like i don't care about any of those people i don't, I don't want an alliance with you so i might have to see before streaming next time if there's any background processes i can kill first um, or, actually, I think it's currently streaming to 180. I might cut it down to 720. We'll have to see about that, though. Alright, so Florence. And, again, no. If I were to get one of these alliances, it would be so I could drag them into a war against somebody else, really. God damn it. So, you're not going to ally me now. Oops. No. Stop. Still going to keep working on Austria because we really... Oh, he's gone friendly. Um, people start... Oh, come on. His rival... Uh, yeah, I can see that being an issue. What if I break... If I break my alliance with you, would you allow me back? Although, if I ally Austria, I don't necessarily need France. Uh, sorry, I'm just reading something on stream health. It is saying video output low. So, yeah, I might need to see if I can kill some background processes before streaming later. To see if I can get it to run a little bit better. Uh, four. Can you guys come up here yet? No, I need to wait another month. So, yeah, I think we might want to kill our alliance. If we killed our alliance with France right now, then we could ally Austria. And then we could, like, crawl back to France and see if our ally was again. I'm not too concerned. If we ally Austria, I don't think... France would bother doing anything against us, so I'm actually going to kill that alliance. And then you will ally me, which means I can then get into the HRE with a bit more improved relations. Uh, as, it's a shame as the Pope I can't be like, I bless you, and then get more relations with him. So we are going to want to do things like offering military access. I don't know if there's any... They're a bigger country than us, so we can't really give them a gift or anything. We also can't marry, because we're the Pope. Sandra of Maine, France, and England are at war, so we may get a chance to attack Provence, assuming he was called in. France is just at war with England. England is at war with France, Venice, Corfu, Naxos, Provence, and Lorraine, so England is going to lose. Doesn't mean France won't be stupid and cause himself a load of attrition, though. You guys, come up here. Austria, when can I offer you this? Five days. Four, three, two, one. Offer military access. There you go. Happy, happy. Can I add my capital to the HRE yet? One, four, six. Also, have you got any allies? Just Provence. Oh, I like that. Independence guaranteed by Milan. That I don't like. You are allied to Hungary. You are allied to Albania. And you're in a trade league. God, Expanding in Italy is not going to be easy, is it? I think we're going to need to make sure we have claims on everyone. And then just take whatever... Um, whenever we can see an opportunity, just pounce on whatever country is weak. So at this point, I would like to turn the speed up a bit, but I think actually um, it's struggling just on speed three. 
And we got uh, five more minutes till I need to go. Let's see if we can get that alliance with Austria first. Oh, I forgot to tell these guys to go and protect trade. Go and protect trade in Genoa. Go. Go home at war. There we go. And that's a pop-up that doesn't want to come up. Oh, I meant to turn that off last time. Remember to turn off some of the other pop-ups I was getting recording some of my Muggles videos, but I forgot about that one. How is this going? This is actually going down. Devotion changes minus half a year. This represents the zeal of the faith inside a country. The higher it is, the more efficient our theocracy will run. This level of devotion gives the following benefits. Which are nice, but I would like the devotion to be going up. I wonder if it'll go up when a new pope is elected. If not, I'll have to see what I can do about that. Although, we we can strengthen government for 10 devotion. So, that alone will give us really what we need. Okay, we have two lazy diplomats. That won't do. You are allied to Savoy. You are allied to Hungary. Hungary will probably end up at war with the Ottomans at some point, so a claim on Siena will be good. Then who else? You're allied with Savoy. Savoy will probably end up at war at some point. They're your only ally, so let's also get a spy network going on Austria. And let's see, how, how will speed 4 run? Not as fast as Speed 4 should run. That's for sure. Watching the live video myself, it doesn't seem like that's running too poorly. Now, I don't want to add all my territory to the HRE, or just my capital. I think just my capital. Because then when we leave, when the Shadow Kingdom fires, we will annoy Austria the least. As little as we can. Because even after, we we'll want to keep Austria as an ally, even after the Shadow Kingdom has fired, um, we can then eat Italy as we wish. Come on, France. Lose to England, please. It would do me good if you were to lose. You know what, we could probably ally him later with a bit of effort. Or re-ally him. That's one claim on Provence. Let's get it on the capital. That's actually not the capital anymore, is it? I don't think. Uh, the capital is now over there in Anjo. But we want claims on both of these provinces so we can jump on them if we get the chance. Uh, they're also, yeah, they're also allied to Ferrara. So what we can maybe do... Yeah, yeah. If Milan stops guaranteeing Ferrara, which hopefully they will at some point... Then we can jump on Ferrara. We can probably knock them out straight away. Then go after Provence. Take the territories off Provence, then piece Ferrara out. That should work quite nicely. What do we get as theocracies? What are we? We're the Pope already, so... We get Pope bonuses. We also get yearly prestige and tolerance of the true faith. We're going to have loads of tolerance. We have five already. I'm going to get two more there. And I'm going to take religious ideas. Because everyone keeps saying how bad they are. So we need to take them. And that's another tolerance there. So at that point we will be on seven, eight tolerance of the true faith. So anything following the true faith will not be revolting from us. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to end it there. I'm sorry it's been a short one, but as I said, I'll try and stream a bit more later. Um, 
due to having to work and other things in my personal life, I don't get that long to do long streams most of the time, but I'd like to try and do some of these short streams. They'll always be in the evening, like after probably six o'clock. Um, a couple of short streams, a couple of times a week, just like this. And we will slowly build the Pope up until we are the great... Actually, I think we'll probably go Kingdom of God for the... Um, for the aesthetic, because I like the idea of having Kingdom of God all the way across Europe. Um, rather than the Papal State. We'll see about that. But, yeah. Um... I hope for those of you that are watching, you've enjoyed, and same goes to anyone watching it later on YouTube. Um, I'll probably be back at somewhere, I want to say either half eight or nine later, if you want to come back and watch some more then, I hope you will. And if you have been watching this, and you want to see more, then just go and watch my Muggles uh, campaign which has just had another video out should have gone out an hour ago now actually because that goes out at six um, and until next time I hope you have a very good day I've been James Rose this has been a U4 thank you very much for watching bye bye <laughs>